Hello and welcome to Hidden Worlds. I'm John. I'm Indian son. And we'd like you to join us on our adventures and travels and show you how we like to travel the world. Which is, of course, the proper way. If you like our video, please like and subscribe in a normal way. That would be much appreciated. And we hope you enjoy the show. Good morning. It's John and Indy here from Hidden World TV. Um, we're just off on a trip. We're going to do a review for you today of Etihad Airways um, from Heathrow Airport. Um, one of the downsides of the particular flight we're getting to Singapore. It's damn early. Abu Dhabi is damn early rings. So we've got to get up at well, we've been up at three. We're just waiting for the airport taxi now um, for the one hour and maybe 30 minutes um, journey to the airport. Thanks, Mal, for organising that. Thank you. And uh, yeah. Go to our beach up. Yeah, go to our ice cream parlour in South Sea. It's the best one, but it's not open just yet. It'll be open at the end of March. Yeah. Just arrived at Heathrow, everyone. Uh, so going on our EY12 flight to um, Abu Dhabi and then Singapore. So yeah, looking forward to it. Sure. I'm just going to check in now. Oh, come with me. So here we are at um, luggage drop-off for Etihad Airways. As you can see, there's not a lot of people there. It's quite nice. It's not a big queue. We're not actually dropping our luggage off because we bought two small. Um, cases that we can just take directly on board, which is good. Saves time at the other end. Um, but it looks like the checking process looks quite straightforward and organised. Last time we were in the airport, it was absolutely rammed, packed, and let's queue up for ages. So it's looking good so far. Sorry to interrupt the video. Um, I thought I'd show you the um, app that you get um, encouraged to use by the airline when you buy the flight. Um, it should be all relatively simple, but it does seem a bit slow at times. And then it does lock and things like that. Um, if you're tech savvy, you wouldn't have a problem. But a lot of people don't like using this sort of thing. It was much easier, I feel, flying in the old days with proper cardboard tickets. OK, we're just walking towards the gate in uh, gate nine. In Terminal 3, or in oh, Lake Terminal 3, it's, terminal four. sorry, Terminal 4, it's much quieter than um, the other terminals at Heathrow. It seems a lot more kind of organised. The whole going through customs was really, really simple and quick. Um, it's been nice. What I would complain about is the price of the food and drinks. Um, I think £8 for a small glass of wine is just a bit much. I suppose that's what you expect in airports these days. Oh, we've got a bit of a queue here for um, gate nine. So this looks like the plane that we'll be getting on. Um, looks all right. Boeing, I think. Can't see anything hanging off of it anyway, so it should be all right. Um, at the moment, it was a pretty clean enough plane. Well, it should be, we a lot. It should be, I've only had one, one flight in my whole history of flying where the engine caught fire so we're hoping for the best for this one but yeah it seems quite organised and seems alright so far so it's indeed just getting onto the plane or getting on not getting on the plane in fact we're just going to get his passport checked everyone's really friendly with this airline which is nice he seems to be enjoying it as you can see Thank you. 
is boarding now, looking for our seats. <laughs> So far. Waiting for Mr. Kotadia, Nico Kumar. Kotadia. Okay, so we're in our seats. 43J, 43H. Um, it's a fair bit of leg room down below. And also got nice big TVs, um, climbing seats to get a blanket, pillow, and some sort of travelling well together pack. I'm just going to check what's in there. Oh, well, it's not really kind of up to standard Qatar Airlines where you get toothbrushes and things like that. Here you've got hand sanitizer gel, sanitizer and wipes, and that's about it. But maybe that's because it's a daytime float. But all in all, it all looks nice, it's quite clean, um, reasonably comfortable, good leg room. Yeah, it looks like we're just about to take off and we'll come around onto the main runway. Engines are building up. So um, I'm sitting on the plane watching a new Top Gun film, uh, Maverick. And um, firstly, it's really nice that they've got such um, up to date films on the video system for the entertainment on flight. But secondly, I'd say that the film's really, really good. It's good how they've interacted their old film with the new film. And actually, it's quite emotional because I suppose I watched the first film in about 1986. Um, I was on a coach to Carla Farms Park to watch U2 and I accidentally got on the wrong coach um, because the coach I was on was really old and then we stopped off at the service station and the coach in front had empty seats but it had like um, a video screen but which back then was kind of really modern and not seen. And I've gone there, the only trouble is coming back from the concert, which was absolutely amazing. Um, they dropped me off in Chichester, so I had to kind of walk all the way back to Portsmouth. I don't think I could do it nowadays, but then I probably won't get on a wrong coach nowadays. But good memories. So you didn't really get a chance to talk about what the food was like, because, uh, well, I was eating it. But um, anyway, so you got uh, your bottle of water, it, um, you got a nice, I'm not sure what sort of curry it was, but it had some lovely chicken with onions in, uh, rice, you had, uh, I don't know, some sort of beans, I think, uh, and a strawberry mousse with peach, which was lovely. You got Jono with his wine and his food, and yeah. As you can see, I'm now in, um, well, I don't know, what, what would it be? Gate. One of the gate areas in Abu Dhabi. It looks really futuristic. It actually sort of reminds me of. Um, I used to watch Pokemon back in the day, and there was this Pokemon that had like sort of skin like that. Like you might know it if you're a nerd. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it looks really futuristic. You got a McDonald's over there. If you turn around, John, please. You got your 
duty freeze, you got brioche doré, dory, whatever. I'm not French. <laughs> and yeah, so it looks really cool. Apart from my conclusion, um, this is pretty much the end of the video, just flying into Singapore. So I just want to talk about how I'd rate everything. I'd give the food a solid 10, it was really nice. Um, service, I'd give an 8. And the overall flight, I'd say, was a 9, I'd say. So yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. Okay, we've just arrived in Singapore after about six and a half hours on Etihad Airlines. Um, I have to say the second half of the flight from Abu Dhabi to here was much better um, than the first half. The first half, there was nothing wrong with it, but I would have said that Qatar Airways seemed better than the first half of it. Um, the second half, the service was really nice. The staff were really friendly. Food, food um, was good. Yeah, um, good looking air stewards as well, which is good. Yeah, 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 you can't say that, John. You've got to be politically correct. No, days. not anymore. We're we in Asia. Anyway, um, and yeah the, yeah, the food was really nice. It's been a good flight. It, seemed, it does seem longer flying early in the morning um, rather than going on an evening flight, but hey. Um, actually, I think it's probably just as good as um, as Qatar Airways. But uh, what I would say would be that these airlines seem to be quite inconsistent with the staff and meals. But yeah, all in all, a good experience and Very recommended. Good. Yeah.